Hey guys, this is the Midwest Picker. I just got out of work and I'm going to give you an office tour and show you what's sold on eBay. I sold five items in three days. And I want to say at the beginning, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. If you have any suggestions, put them in the comments. I love to answer questions. Um, give it a thumbs up if you like it. But yeah, use that comment section. Um, any suggestions on how to improve my photo booth, how to organize, anything like that. First item, I need a cheat sheet because I'm old. Um, I'm sorry about the lighting, it's a little subdued right here in this spot. Um, Heineken beer glass. Uh, I'll put a picture up. I paid three bucks for this and it sold for $15.95. I'm going to pull it right now. This is my bins. This is where I store stuff. I got uh, lighter stuff up at the top, more fragile stuff, and then as you go down it gets heavier and heavier until you get industrial. Real heavy stuff at the bottom. A little cast iron buddy right there. It's on my eBay store right now. That sucker's heavy. So this, I believe, is in here. Uh, machine parts are in here. Really light. Oh, there it is. So it's in this green can right here. So this I got at a Salvation Army. I grabbed it because it's like new in the package. Sorry, I'm doing all this one-handed. So it still had the original tin and the glass is in beautiful condition. It's a little dusty, but um, I consider this new open box. If you don't have the tin, I wouldn't bother with it because there's a lot on eBay, maybe 20, 25. And if you have the original tin and it's in perfect condition, it'll sell well. Um, this one I sold for $15.95. Next item are these wooden dowel pins. I think I talked about these in other videos. I bought 12000 for 50 bucks. So I still got, this is a bucket of 6000 And it's, I don't know, I don't think I sold that many. Looks like I sold about 1500 I don't know. But what I do is I just take a little cup here and I just count them out. One, two, three, four, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. All right, so that's 100. That's sold, and then I have my, I know this is an organized mess over here. Um, there we go little envelope so I take a little ziplock baggie like this I'll put the hundred in here I'll write on here a hundred and then it'll go in a little little mailer here we go a little eBay branded mailer so that'll go first class it's super light I mean it's like three ounces so I'll put those in here put it in here ship it out first class easy peasy uh, let's see what is next oh my last Tabasco cup so I'm going to talk about this Tabasco cup. Um, people have asked about packaging videos. And I've, I've done shipping videos, but I haven't done a packaging video. So this is a Region A box. I just love Region A, Region B priority mailboxes. It is not a flat rate, but it's 15 pounds or less for the A and 20 pounds or less for the B. And the cost is based on the distance from the buyer. So it can be anywhere from, I don't know, $7 to maybe 12 or 13 if they live super far away. So what I did was I took the coffee mug, the Tabasco mug, and I put it in this box. I wrapped the coffee mug in like three feet of bubble wrap and put it in a box. Then I put the box in a box, used these uh, little pillow, plastic pillows here for void fill. So a box in a box with this cushioning, I've never shipped an item that's glass like these things here. I've never had anything break and get returned. And because the weight doesn't really matter as long as you keep it under 15, you could pack this with newspaper, styrofoam shipping, peanuts. You could put this box in a second box and then put it in there. But you just close it up and you can test it. Shake it, there's no movement at all. Uh, I might even put some newspaper in there. Just make it nice and tight so nothing moves around. This thing will not break. So that's just one way of shipping glass. When I do sell these plates and things like that, I wrap them really good in bubble wrap and they go in a bigger box than this. Usually region B, um, second resort is medium flat rate because it's more expensive. And of course the large flat rate's the most expensive. 
Next thing that sold is Sega Game Gear. I sold, let's see, I sold a lot of four of these games, uh, Sega Game Gear cartridges that have already been shipped and mailed out. I'll put a picture probably up here. Uh, I paid $2, I think, for all four of them and sold them for $10. I took a best offer. I had them listed for $12.95. Somebody offered me $10. I said, heck yeah, not a huge profit. I was a little worried I was going to get stuck with them for a long time, but I bought them at the estate sale in Indiana. That's a previous video. I'm not sure what episode that is. It's one of the scary doll is the thumbnail. So, eh, three weeks I've had them on sale. Not bad at all. Um, and then Auric vacuum cleaner belts. That also has been shipped out already. I'll put a picture up here. I paid 25 cents for a bunch of vacuum cleaner belts and, and HEPA filters and vacuum cleaner bags, all brand new in the package, and they were a quarter. So not a big seller, not a fast seller, but I paid yeah 25 cents and sold this one individual package for $7.95. I believe I had three, and I've only got one left. So $7.95 out of 25 cents, not too bad. So this is just a quick tour of the eBay office. I'm not going to show you everything because it's also a storage room and it's kind of a mess. But these are the, the totes I was telling you about. I think they're called totes. But they're just open um, containers. They're stackable. The heavy stuff, of course, on the bottom. And stuff is in boxes. There's some of my cassettes I haven't listed yet. I have a death pile and I'm trying to get rid of all of these items are listed. Got these nice little drawers. This has to be listed too. Oh. Yeah, I put stuff in there. These drawers are very handy. And then I have drawers up here. This is just keeps it organized, keeps it uh, free from dust. Get that guy here. So this is my photo booth, and I know it's kind of funny, but basically it's just a piece of styrofoam board I got from an office supply store, and I scored the back and folded it, and I just stick it in there. So you just put your item right there take a picture, make sure you get all the sides, take a picture, take a picture, take a picture of the bottom, of the top, and you're done. And it's super easy. I use this nice camera here. It's a DSLR. It's not real expensive, but it does the job. It takes nice macro pictures. Sometimes I use my phone. Um, so that's my photo booth. Nothing fancy. Of course you can go much fancier than that. But if you're just starting out and you're new and you don't want to spend a ton of money, you've got some LED spotlights with paper as a diffuser, and you're good to go. Takes care of the shadows. So there's my artwork. And I love that one. The wife did this one. A lot of these I got at thrift stores, dirt cheap. Got that from Lonnie Garage Flips. This is kind of cool for the guys out there. This is a copper nugget, eight and a half ounces. Bought this at a jewelry store in Holland, and if you didn't know, the U uh, Upper Peninsula of Michigan has copper mines, and uh, this wasn't too much. I think it was 20 bucks. I just thought it was kind of cool. And then you see a lot of this green stuff. This is uh, uranium glass. And if you didn't know what that was, sometimes it's called Vaseline glass or depression glass. Um, I'm going to cut the light off a second and show you. I have this UV or black light flashlight. I take this with me everywhere I go when I go sourcing thrift stores, flea markets, garage sales. A lot of times people have uranium glass and they don't know what it is and it's priced super low. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you a little demo. And what's really weird is see this paperweight? This is a fish that's solid glass and it's blue. We're gonna make that thing glow. So I'm gonna cut off this light. Hopefully you can still see. Um, got the flashlight on. So check this out. So uranium glass will glow under ultraviolet light. It doesn't glow in the dark. And it doesn't glow in regular light, but it will glow under an ultraviolet light. So look at this fish. It turns green under a UV light. I think you can see that. Even though it's blue. There's a little saucer. And then that one right down there. A yeah, bad reflection, but... So yeah, these items glow green under ultraviolet light. Some people that collect this stuff will put it in a curio cabinet. And they'll put um, black light or ultraviolet LED strip lights and they'll display it with these lights on which is pretty cool and if you're wondering this is not dangerous this is pure uranium that's mixed in the glass I think it's uranium salts so it's not concentrated and purified um, it's very safe you can look it up 
on uh, Wiki or Google it. But it's just pretty cool stuff. Got this guy in the Bahamas. It's a little wood carving. Went on a Disney cruise and bought that guy. This is a, a Chinese silk iron. If you ever see these in an antique store, or probably not, maybe a thrift store even. Um, these are very old, turn of the century. You put hot coals in here and it heats up the brass and you just rub it on your silk clothing and you iron out the wrinkles. It's got a, I think it's called cloisonne handle. Um, not real expensive. You know, they sell 20, 30, 40 bucks, depending. If you can get them really cheap, they're pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else got the picture of the wife but she doesn't like to be on YouTube uh, that's my mason jar I got 10 or 11 watchers right now that's the most watchers I've ever had for an item in my eBay store it's a number 13 mason jar I think it's a half gallon a whole lot of interest and uh, so far no offers here's another item you might not be aware of these are not listed yet these are vintage Valentine's cards this one's really big and it folds out uh, like that. It's got a little cray paper there. This is probably 1920s, maybe 1930s. If they have writing on the back, that's fine. People kind of expect that, that they're used, so it's going to say, you know, be my Valentine in pencil, little kid's handwriting. They're not going to be dated. It's just going to say, you know, made in the USA. When's the last time you bought a Valentine that said made in the USA? But that's really old. They're really cool. Um, I'm probably going to list these in October. And they're going to start selling. There's this cute little one. I don't even know if that's a Valentine. Um, this one's got lace on it. I'm not sure if I got that in the shot yet. Cute little thing. There's this one. So if you see these anywhere, you might see them in a flea market. I doubt you'll find these in a thrift store. But they, for sure in the state sale, people would collect these. And then, you know, the surviving family, if it's someone who passed away, they don't know what they are, what they're worth, and they sell cheap. This is an, an, an uh, I can't say it. So anyway, this is, a, <laughs> this is a, depicts an animal in a human activity or clothing. There's a word, and I can't pronounce it because I'm tired. I just got home from work. But these go for good money. Um, this one is pretty fancy with the lace on it, which usually doesn't survive very long. This one is a nice, another one that's kind of a human form of a scarecrow. This one's another one with a dog wearing human clothes. So for some reason, those are more collectible than anything. This is a die cut. These are very old. Um, this is pre-Santa Claus. So if you didn't know, look up the history of Santa Claus. Um, as far as Coca-Cola using Santa as an advertising tool, they kind of invented the jolly Santa with the big belly and the ho-ho-ho and all that. Before Coca-Cola did that, this is what Santa looked like. It's kind of like an angry looking elf. Not something that made kids, you know, cheerful. Um, but that's just a die cut and I'll list that real soon because September is coming up soon and that's when you pretty much have to list anything for Christmas. Alright, that's the office tour. That's what I sold, the five items. and some items that I haven't sold yet that I got to put up in eBay and a little office tour for you so this is the Midwest Picker if you like the video give it a thumbs up comment down below thanks for watching